The Form 1 admission exercise officially commenced today countrywide, where a number of students showed up in secondary schools, accompanied by their guardians ready to begin their new life. The admission exercise went on smoothly in most schools, with the school principals happy over the turnout witnessed so far. In Kenya High School, Nairobi County, parents and students showed up in large numbers on the first day of the exercise. A high percentage of the students reporting were fortunate to have been called to the schools of their choice through the NEMIS program, many expressing their joy and expectations from joining high school. Uh, my name is Jasmine Ramanda. Um, I came from Green Gardens. Um, I really wanted to come to Kenya High because we were given the forms to fill out and Kenya High was my first choice. Um, when I found out I was coming to Kenya High, I was really excited. Went for shopping and stuff, getting the clothes, the uniform. Oh, my name is Terry Ivy. I'm reporting to, for the first time today in Kenya High. My, ex my expectations are to get out of here with straight A's. So far in the school, 97% of students expected have already reported, with the number set to rise as more students continue to report in the course of the week. We are expecting 400 in number, uh, and we are embracing the 100% transition. Um, the school has been six streams, now we are seven streams, and we, we've made arrangements to accommodate them, so we are okay. A number of parents we spoke to expressed their contentment with how the admission process was carried out. Many, however, noted an increase in the cost of requirements caused by the high cost of living. Well, things are expensive but manageable. Yeah, together you sacrifice. For school fees you have to sacrifice for everything. But everything has gone up. Um, the process has been strenuous and uh, no matter how many times you can try to be efficient, it's always not uh, easy. In Precious Blood High School, Rirota, the situation was the same. Students turned out in large numbers ready for their first day in high school. Like in Kenya High, parents here also expressed the strings they had to pull to afford to bring their children to school. Their only plea is for the school to be lenient and not to rush them to pay fee. <laughs> In Moigal's Eldoret, long lines were witnessed as the number of students who reported on the first day exceeded the expectations of the school. The school principal, however, says that the school has enough resources to accommodate the students. The process of admission has been smooth, despite the fact that they have reported in big numbers. We, are expecting about, we were expecting about 415 students. And right now we are doing over 300, so we expect the rest to report maybe at the course of the day. A similar situation was witnessed in St. Albert, Ulanda, Migori County, where parents expressed worry over possible lack of space for their children in the school. The school principal, however, managed to calm the parents down by assuring them of their children's safety while in the school. So to our expectations, we are expecting 800 girls to the reporting. And I'm now about to number, a big number has come in with the request that you keep their spaces so that they are booking. So to us as a school, we shall not fear taking risks, but shall be risk managers. A number of parents from the school were however sent away for not meeting the school's requirements. The admission exercise is set to continue till the end of this week. The Ministry of Education has insisted on achieving their 100% from one transition for all pupils who sat for the 2021 KCPE examinations. The Form 1 reporting process has officially begun and in most schools the process has gone on smoothly. The number of students reporting is however expected to rise in the course of the week. Lilian Kamau, Ibru TV.